good afternoon to all. Truly an honor to speak among such distinguished guests. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a subject, a topic that I think a lot of us has, have been thinking about, have been hearing about, have been discussing about. I'm not going to give you a very technical take on it. I'll give you a very emotional, a very pragmatic approach on it, the way I think of it. Navigating job displacement in the age of AI. Now, how many of you must be wondering, like, why am I showing you a very weird shaped boat? Now, does anyone here know who this boat belongs to? Anyone? Vikings, right? And now, what do Vikings have to do with AI? Well, honestly, Vikings had a very interesting quality in them. They were extremely curious, and they were extremely adaptive. And in the age of AI, we as humans, we as professionals, need to have that same quality in ourselves, the way Vikings had, to look at uncharted territories, to look at them, to navigate them without thinking too much. Now, a lot of you here think that, you know, AI is a very unknown entity, uh, but it is not. How many of you here use Spotify? How many of you here use Spotify, right? A lot of you use Spotify. Song recommendations on Spotify. How many of you use WhatsApp? Text recommendations on WhatsApp. All of this is AI, predictive AI. AI has existed for long ago. It might not be Gen AI, but AI is not something that is alien to we as human beings. It has always existed. And Gen AI might be something new, but we as human beings have always worked closely and evolved with AI in the last 15, 20 years. Now, a lot of you talk about that robots will take away your jobs, uh, people who know AI will take away your jobs. These are some quotes that we constantly hear about. Now, the first industry where I am personally seeing uh, AI revolution or an uh, impact of AI is HR. In our business, where we are into talent development, into recruiting, into capability building, what we are realizing is HR as a function is showing the most promise, is the fastest to evolve with respect to AI. So you might not be aware, the next job you get might be through an AI, might be by an AI. So AI is something that is automatically extremely critical, extremely important to the professional world we live in. And the next job through the HR you might talk to in the next six, eight, nine months might be driven by AI. This was just a funny start to, just a you know light start to looking at AI. It's not something so serious so detrimental to our professional careers. It is something that will, as a matter of fact, impact us in a positive way initially. Now, when I look at AI, when I look at our career paths, when I look at our professional journey, I see a very basic transition happening. And for that, you need to look at it as like a domino effect. The way it starts is a displacement effect. What I mean by that is, with automation, with AI, a lot of repetitive tasks get automated. Once these tasks are automated, what happens is that the demand for non-productive workers goes down. But at the same time, the company, the organization starts becoming more productive. As the organization, as your company becomes more productive, their return on capital is higher. In a simpler way, they start making more money they start having higher margins. Now, once they start having higher margins, once they start making more money, what do they do? They expand. Now, once they expand, they require a lot of manual work. They require a lot of workforce that earlier or that could not still be automated. And as a matter of fact, because their margins are higher, they tend to pay higher for these jobs. Now, a small example for this is, in the world of ATMs, when ATMs came, people assumed a bank teller's job would decrease. But you will be shocked to know, in the last five years, year on year, the vacancies for bank tellers have increased by 35% on an average, faster than a data scientist. What that tells you is that because the banks started becoming more efficient, because of digital infrastructure, because they could expand more, they started opening more branches. And when they started opening more branches, they required more and more people, bank tellers, on the ground 
who could have that interpersonal relationship, who could have those skills that automa automation could not do. So this example is just to show to you that once the displacement happens, then the productivity effect starts coming into picture. The third effect is capital accumulation. Now, as I said, companies start making more money. They start having higher margins. What happens? They have more capital at hand. Parallelly, they are competing with more companies who are embracing automation. And now the fight is who is more automated, who is more driven by AI. And when that fight happens, companies need to build models. Companies need to build solutions. Companies need to deepen their expertise of automation. And to deepen that expertise of automation, what do they need? They need professionals like yourself. And that is where the opportunity lies, where even though the kind of job you do might evolve, but the industry you are sitting in, because of sheer productivity increase, will start producing more jobs as the organizations will have more free capital on hand and they will start competing with other organizations and to remain relevant, they will need to invest more with respect to automation, with respect to AI. And that is where this whole reinstatement effect will come into picture, where even though at one point in year 2021 and 2022, you thought that jobs would decrease, and for a short span of time, you actually felt that they were decreasing. But in the long run, we as human beings start solving more and more complicated, more and more complex problems because we have more capital at hand and there is the only form of differentiation and the only form of comparative rivalry between companies will become how more automated, how more efficient they are with the use of AI. So this slide's whole concept is to prove to you, is to show to you that AI is actually really, really good for your career. The only and only thing that we all know, and I, again I'm going to repeat is, that the winners of AI are going to be people who embrace it the fastest. Eventually everyone will need to embrace it, but the people who have the ability, who have the hunger to embrace AI, who have the ability to unlearn and relearn, are the ones who are going to benefit the most. Now, there are many job roles that can be automated. There are some of the industries that you can see on the screen that we see are showing the most promise of automation. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into talking about these particular job roles or so on and so forth, but I think a lot of us will relate to these job industries, these job functions that are seeing a sort of combination of jobs coming together because of AI. So now, like some examples, right? Let's talk about customer service. I'll talk about what is happening in my organization, how AI is being leveraged and how jobs are being evolved. So with respect to customer service, earlier what used to happen was that if we were talking to a client of ours, if we were talking to a talent, we used to call them and do a basic level of screening, filtration on our own, and then the whole process used to happen. On an average, our team was making roughly 1,800 calls a day. Now what has happened is because of AI, we have added a layer of an AI bot that makes sure the first level of screening happens through the bot. So now the average calls that we were do doing has decreased from 1,800 calls a day to roughly 750 to 800 calls a day, and our hit ratios have actually increased. Second, marketing. In marketing earlier, we had a different content writer, we had a different graphic designer. Now we have one specialist who knows how to use chat GPT as well as mid-journey. That same individual can not just be a content writer, but they can also be a graphic designer in your organization. We have seen that in our organization. Our marketing team earlier had roughly 18 people. Today it has 21 people. But the amount of content we are dispensing has quadrupled. So what I'm going to show you is, what I'm trying to show to you is that with small, small areas that we are seeing AI getting impacted, we are also increasing our output, which in turn is on an average increasing the number of jobs. Tech jobs. I think all of us here would know about Copilot. We have all seen what has happened. A lot of you in the audience are currently working in captives, in big financial institutions. So you might not see the impact of Copilot or assisted coding platforms right away because of compliance and regulatory issues. 
but one thing i can promise to you and if some of you have work in certain unicorns and certain startups that this is real this is something where we are seeing a real real impact with respect to the number of people that are required to do those same tech jobs now as i said micro trend for tech jobs might not be the best but the macro trend that is a 18 24 36 36 month period that's where we are seeing a lot of lot of job creation and finally financial advisors and traders so in a very simpler manner when you get any financial advice when a trader tries to look at when you look at your stock portfolio now on your money control app on your ind money app on your zeroda account you will slowly start seeing the insights that you get while trading will become more and more efficient and then the game would be as a trader how do you trade on top of those insights because those insights will already be factored in the overall markets the overall demand and supply of stocks so let's talk about some new ai roles some new job roles that are going to be created around ai now i am not saying this list is restrictive is exhaustive i just want you to think in the manner where i am trying to think the kind of roles that are going to emerge so ai trainer and operator as we know ai is as good as the model it is trained on and this training of that model is a continuous process till now only very big multi billion dollar organizations were training data but as we'll see small businesses msmes will start having these jobs where they will train data where they will train the model secondly ai content auditor now as we know ai is known to hallucinate ai is known to churn out a lot of content and if you go on linkedin i think everyone's linkedin post are basically the same they will have a rocket they will have some brain photo it's so obvious that it is driven from chat gpt right so what is going to happen is a ai content auditor will be someone who will audit the content that came out of a chat gpt and will tune it will try to tune it in a way which resonates more with the emotional appetite of their customers ai prediction auditor now as we know ai is known to predict ai is known to give very varied very broad predictions that might not be applicable for your business so an individual or a group of individuals sort of what i will say a new age mckinsey kind of consultant who has the ability to understand what the business context is at the same time understand the nuances of macro socio economic development ai prompt engineers i think a lot of us already know what a ai prompt engineer is in a simple way a person who understands technology and english doesn't need to code they just need to be really really good at english as well as understanding the architecture around technology ai compliance manager again regulation is going to play a huge massive massive role in the jobs that are going to emerge around ai where people who understand legalities as well as technologies will be really really in demand and finally a ai integration specialist as we are realizing to integrate ai in our workflows is something way more complicated than it looks has lot of micro a lot of small nuances again we are seeing a lot of small businesses create jobs around ai integration specialists now guys you would have realized i mentioned the word small businesses msmes a lot and the reason why i am saying is that because of ai one thing has become democratized access to technology access to build technologies now one side of narrative states that the big corporations are going to benefit the most out of ai because of the kind of data they are playing on but the other side of the narrative says that a lot of small lot of medium sized businesses that are customer obsessed that are focused on one specific niche one specific vertical are going to be the ones who going to leverage ai leverage automation and build the most impact and that is where a lot of new jobs are going to be emerged so one take away that i will give to you guys from this slide is that the new jobs you look at in the near future might not be in a fortune 500 company might not be in a unicorn but in a sustainable profitable small business medium sized business because that is where your experience your expertise can have a 
exponential return and you in turn can also be a part of a wealth creation as opposed to just drawing a salary. Now, to just sum it all up, these are certain skills that we all know we need that sort of differentiate us to an AI. And when I look at AI, right, I would want you guys to think of AI as any other human being. And when you think of AI as any other human being, think of them like a colleague, think of them like a teammate, think of them like a person that works in your office who tries to fill in for your weaknesses and you fill in for their weaknesses. Because if you can do that, if you can be on the same team as AI, you will, be, you will benefit the most. And eventually, every single person will need to acknowledge AI as a human being, will need to acknowledge AI as a teammate, will need to acknowledge AI as a colleague. Only the ones who do it the fastest are going to benefit the most. So thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you.